All right, guys, so there's been some concern lately in regards to the battery issues with the PlayStation console. So there's been reveals of the PS4 having this issue, and people were wondering, is the PS5 going to suffer from the same issue? So this is the CMOS battery failure issue that has come to light. This is potential bad news for consumers of Sony products. So we're going to get right into it, guys. I'm concerned too. I, I mean, I have a PlayStation 5. I don't want my stuff to freaking ruin and get destroyed. So let's go ahead and read this article. If this is your first time coming here, why don't you click that subscription button? Let's read. So PS5 confirmed to have CMOS battery failure issue. So more potential bad news for Sony fans. It has been confirmed that the PS5 has the same CMS, CMOS battery issue found in the PS4, which stops players accessing digital games in the event of a failure. Now, this is a concern because digital games is a freaking problem. This is all because the digital age, guys. I think everything we see gaming related, air related, glitch related, brick related is because we just rely on servers and digital connections and digital game libraries just way too much um so discovered by does it play on twitter the cmos battery failure issue limits players from accessing digital games should the battery die so once the battery is dead players will have to connect to the internet to play games failing that digital titles will simply be inaccessible so even if you paid to download these titles you're not going to be able to access them if if this failure happens if this battery failure happens on your ps5 so the ps4 sony's previous console also had the same issue several users online removed their cmos battery and confirmed that they could only play games while connected to the internet so you would have to be connected to the internet now, this news arrives only a few weeks after Sony confirmed it would close the PS3, PSP, and PS Vita storefront. So that is old news. We talked about that in the previous video. They retracted the PS3 and Vita store uh, cancellations. PSP will still be closed in July, but this right here, right here is outdated. They backtracked on that. So you don't have to worry about that situation. But people are worried about the long-term usability of the PS4 and PS5. So server shutdowns and CMOS failure could render the consoles unplayable. Now, this is all a hypothetical what if. This is a situation that could happen. Uh, is it likely to happen? Uh, the PS4 and PS5 stores aren't going to be closing anytime soon. <laughs> I would say maybe at most another like eight years, I would say. Now, in comparison, many retro consoles are still used today by gamers across the world without needing an online connection. So, N64 crew? Anyone? N64? Now, continuing on, this is the news shouldn't come as an immediate worry for PS5 owners, but it might be a different case 10 to 15 from now when Sony decides to close the online store. That's still a long time. Uh, there's going to be bigger and better things. I'm not saying that it's right for companies to close stores. I believe in preservation. This digital age, though, it's really tough to do it because there's still a lot of games from older consoles. Like, just for example, on the Wii U Virtual Console, there's games on there that have not been brought to the Nintendo Switch Online service yet. When you look at the NES and SNES games, um, for example, uh, I believe one of the versions of Earthbound, Earthbound Zero, that's not even on the on the NES or Virtual Console, whatever, Nintendo Switch Online service. There's so many games from that that Nintendo just hasn't brought over. Um, Wii U uh, Wear, Wii Wear. There's a lot of great Wii Wear games that did not go to Wii U, did not go to Switch. So that's just Nintendo, for example. There's stores on the PS3 store, the PS Vita store, the PSP store that will no longer be accessible because they're not going to be brought over to the PS4 or PS5 stores. So, it is concerning. Now, as far as store closures go for the PS4 and PS5, that is a long time from now. 15 years from now, we're going to have such badass consoles that we won't even care about this current gen. 
uh just look at how much more powerful this next gen consoles are right now and again i'm not defending the digital age or the things like that but companies are going to do what they want to do they're going to shut down stuff as they see fit for budget for money constraints things like that now this battery issue is concerning because what if for whatever reason it does go out what if my ps5's cmos battery gets an error tomorrow i could only access my digital games if i'm connected to the internet now of course it's 2021 first world problem if you don't have internet right i have internet everybody has internet it's not exactly a portable system that i'm going to be lugging around because the motherfuckers like this big but it is a concern it's something there that if in a worst case scenario happens it could basically ruin it for a lot of gamers now this says according to does it play the only way to fix the cmos is by connecting to psn or through hacking the system sony has not yet commented on the news and i think that i think they might have a fix for it um i've seen people talking about this battery issue and things like that i really haven't been following it um i heard that you could fix it just by replacing it i i don't know i'm not tech savvy um but it, to me, it seems like an issue that while it is a possibility, it's nothing that we should completely worry about because even if you get the CMOS battery failure with your PS5 or your PS4, they're not closing those stores down anytime soon. Will it be an inconvenience? Would it be something like, man, my, my PlayStation 5's battery already failed? Sure, it would suck. But I don't think you have to worry about not having access to the store for some time so even though it is a danger i guess you could say that uh especially with a lot of digital storefronts and a lot of servers for games getting shut down at this time i think this whole um i guess fear mongering of the digital age is at its peak right now uh we did hear some good news though like i reported earlier in my video from today the PS3 and PS Vita stores aren't closing. Um, but then you also have companies like Ubisoft that will be shutting down servers for older Rainbow Six games and stuff. So I wouldn't worry about the PS5 having a CMOS battery failure issue right now that would not allow you to access your digital games. Because by the time PS5 store closes down, I'm sure we'll have access to a new console and that store will be backwards compatible with the ps5 and it'll be okay i think i know you guys might have different opinions you guys are more than welcome to share it in the comment section down below subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching peace out